To create 3D text in Photoshop, the first step is of course to create a piece of text and the more bold of a font that you use, the better this result is going to look. It doesn't matter what color of text you choose for your base text, but once you have that original text added into your project, the next step is to duplicate that text and choose a color for the 3D piece of that text. So to begin, I'll click on my type layer and press Command or Control J to duplicate it. And while that type layer is active, I'll activate my type tool by pressing T. And in the contextual taskbar, I'll click on the text color swatch and then just choose black for this example. Clicking OK, I now want to drag this duplicated text below my original text layer. I'll click and drag this down like so. And while that bottom layer, which is the black text, is selected, I'll activate Free Transform by pressing Command or Control T, and then just use my arrow keys to bump that black text layer in whatever direction I want my 3D text to extend from. So in this case, I want my 3D text to kind of stretch out downwards to the left, so I'll press down once on my arrows and left once on the arrow keys. With that complete, I'll press Done. And if I zoom in, you can see a little bit of the black text showing through. Now essentially to create this 3D effect, we just need to duplicate and repeat that same transform adjustment over and over and over again until we have our 3D effect. And with the help of a simple shortcut, we can do that super easily. The shortcut for this is Command or Control, Alt or Option, Shift and T. So while your underlying type layer is selected, again, just press Command or Control, Alt or Option, Shift plus T, and we're going to continue to press that over and over and over again. And every time we press that shortcut, you can just keep pressing T while you hold down the other keys. It's going to extend that text for you and create this 3D effect. So in this case, you can see I have 68 copies of my type layer. And with that topmost duplicated text layer selected, I'll scroll down to the bottom of the layer stack. Hold the Shift key, click on the bottom most type layer, then press Command or Control G to group them. I'll call this to Shadow, and now we have successfully added that into our photo. But if you wanted to change the color of this 3D effect area, rather than having to redo the entire process, we can just use a color fill layer and a clipping mask with this shadow group. So for example, I'll go to the Adjustments icon and go to Solid Color to create a new color fill layer and I'll just choose any color for now. I'll click OK. Now to add a clipping mask so this color only affects the 3D shadow area, I'll right click on that color fill layer and go to Create Clipping Mask. Just make sure that that color fill layer is directly above the shadow group. So now that color is only applied to the 3D area and we could change this at any point in our project depending on what you are looking for.